So let's begin. Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Andre Shafaat. Now, if you are looking for a mic for your Zoom meetings, um, podcast, or even live stream gaming, or even for your YouTube channel, what kind of mic would you choose? So, I would prefer the condenser mic. So, why condenser mic? It's because condenser microphones are best used to capture, you know, uh, vocals and high frequencies. Now, these kinds of um, microphones are suitable for studio applications because they pick up sounds with great detail and accuracy. Now, there are a lot of options out there in the marketplace. Either it's in Amazon or here in Indonesia in Tokopedia, Bukalapak, Shopee, Lazada and other uh, marketplace. It can be really you know, confusing to choose. Uh, not to mention if your budget is less than $100 or even $50, what would be the best option to choose? Well, let me help you with that. So find, find a microphone company sent me this mic to be reviewed. So this is the Fine Fine K683A condenser microphone. So this is the mic that I'm currently using right now. So I will be unboxing this video and reviewing this microphone. So stay tuned everyone. So this is the box if you purchase the mic. Now I love the packaging. It has a minimalist kind of vibe similar to Apple product boxes. From a distance, it looks like an iPad box, don't you think? Now the first thing that you will see once you open the box, you will get a greeting card from Fine Fine. And then a user's guide, which I think is quite user friendly since it has supporting visuals that allows you to set up your mic easily. Now the box comes with a protective foam at the top and the entire mic is also surrounded by a foam shaped box as well. So this is the mic. It is an all-metal mic which feels strong and sturdy. It has a volume control button and a mute button. This is the part in which you plug the cable. It also has a 3.5mm headphone jack for you to monitor your voice. Now besides the mic, what else are you going to get? Let's see. First, you are going to get an output connector that has both a type A and a type C jack. The next item is the mic desk then, which is made of metal and it is quite sturdy like the mic itself. And we also get an adapter for the mic boom arm. Unfortunately, the boom arm is not included in the box. And this is the pop filter which is kind of unique because it is a U-shaped pop filter which is not common. Now let's set up the microphone. It's not really complicated. I think you can set it up without even looking at the user's guide. Now you would only take around two minutes or less to set up the mic. Now let's compare the size of the microphone with my handphone and my Rode NT-USB microphone and my Soundtech SD800 microphone and this is the Fine Fine K683A microphone. Now the Fine Fine K683A weighs around 600 grams while my Soundtech is probably less than 400 grams while my Rode NT-USB is around 550 grams. Now if you notice 
that the length of my handphone is around 5.9 inches. Okay, so we are going to do a comparison sound test between the Fine Fine K683A with the Rode NT-USB Mini and the Soundtek ST800 mic, which I own. Now, the sound test that you are going to listen is unedited and all microphones are using pop filter. Well, the Rode has actually a built-in pop filter. Now, it would be best to listen through your headphone or earphone so you can get a clearer comparison. This is a sound test for the NT-USB mini mic from Rode. What do you think? This is the sound test for the Soundtech ST800 mic. So what do you think? This is a sound test of the Fine Fine K683 microphone. What do you think? Now let's talk about the things that I like about this um, microphone. So it has a premium look and feel and it, especially with its, you know, um, solid built metal body. Um, you just can put it on your bag, in your bag or in your backpack because it's small and it's not really that heavy. Um, it's only like 600 grams if I'm mistaken. Now, as you can see that it comes with a dual layer um, curved pop filter or a U-shaped uh, pop filter, which I think it's better than the standard pop filter. So this is the standard pop filter, uh, as you can see. Now, the volume control complements with the low latency monitoring jack, which really works great, by the way. And I could hear and monitor my voice, especially if you are using a good monitoring headphone like this, which is the one I'm using right now from Audio Technica. Um, now, the onboard mute button um, is very convenient, especially when you have to mute your mic on the go instead of, you know, going through your laptop and muting it through your laptop. Um, it has an output connector that that is uh, both type A and type C jack. It is pretty convenient, especially if you are a Mac user and a Windows user. It's a, it's a two-in-one cable, I think. And uh, regarding the setup, it only takes around one until two minutes to set up. It's really that easy. And it's definitely a recommended plug and play in the range of the $50 price point, right? And this is a great microphone for that price range. And the sound quality is very close to mics costing twice or even three times the cost. Now let's talk about the things that um, I don't like about this mic. So there are four points that I'm going to share. Now, first of all, is that it would be great to have a boom arm like this included in a box since I'm not, you know, a big fan of uh, this kind of, uh, what is it, um, desk stand, which is static, right? Um, probably I would like to have a desk stand, which is, you know, adjustable. I mean, adjustable in terms of adjusting the, the heights. Uh, now, even my Soundtech SD800, which is only $30, um, had a free boom arm included in that package, right? Probably, um, fine, fine, you could learn from this situation. Now, I know I said that the cable is convenient for both Mac and Windows users, but I think this is a silly cable that looks as if the USB had a tumor, right? I understand that it's, uh, there, it's it's for supporting the newer Macs, but I feel like it could have just, you know, an easily been a separate cable, I guess, right? Now, the connector cable is kind of short. I think it's uh, around, um, sorry, not this one, um, around like one meters, right? Um, it could be longer for PC setup users, right? And by the way, I'm not a big fan of a US uh, USB A to B cable since I had a bad experience a similar um, you know uh, audio uh, cable like the one I'm using uh, in my uh, Soundtech ST800 the audio cable 
is really bad i had to replace it uh twice and probably i'm just traumatic because i prefer um you know the type c to usb cable like the one that uh, rode anti-usb uh, mini mic uses right so yeah i'm probably i'm just nitpicking and remember that uh this is just a uh, first impression of my review and i'm probably nitpicking as well so final verdict so the final verdict would be overall this is a great camera i'm sorry microphone not camera overall this is a great microphone and i definitely go for it uh, for the money you cannot go wrong with this mic with the 50 dollars range now maybe it's not the same as the 500 dollars um, microphone but based on the sound quality the build quality the features that you have the um, u-shaped pop filter the desk stand the sturdy desk stand and the cables itself it it's it's a good value by the way now this is still a first again this is still a first impression since i have only used this for a couple of days and hopefully in the days to come hopefully it will perform as mentioned during this uh, review itself so if this is your first time don't forget to subscribe if you like this video don't forget to click the like button and thank you for watching everyone see you on my next video